Hi and welcome back to the channel and today in the Crazy Baker Kitchen we're going to be doing Summer Horrible. It's Marmite. If you like it or you love it, I hate it. It's always been a rule. You either hate it or you love it. And it's going to be cheddar cheese straws with Marmite. Please subscribe and please share and don't forget your recipes below the video in the description and also you can find it on my Facebook page at The Traditional Bakery. Anyway, we'll get right on with the video. And for your recipe, you want some Parmesan cheese, some cheddar cheese or whatever cheese you want. And the main ingredients, yeah, it's this stuff, Marmite. And also you need some puff pastry. Obviously this is a small square. What you want is a fairly big sheet, uh, maybe 12 by 12. You can get it from a supermarket. It comes in rolls, so you can just do, you can make them the size you want them. Anyway, we'll get our pastry and we'll get on with the job. First thing you wanna get yourself your roll of pastry. Now you want to put this out on the table as an oblong. As you can see, I'm just mucking about with the pastry here. Um, <laughs> right, now all we're going to do is fold it in half. Make sure it's nice and flat. Fold it over. And all we're going to be doing is cutting this in two parts. So you've got a top and a bottom. Take the top off. Now all we're going to be doing with this is just washing it over with Marmite. Best way is to pop it into a microwave and warm it up. And it, as you can see, it just flows out nicely. And if you don't want it that strong, just add a little bit of water to it. And all we're going to do is brush it over the top of the pastry. It's almost like doing creosote on a fence. It's something you really like doing, isn't it? Creosalting. Because to me, it's got the same smell. Marmite, yuck. And there we go. So the next job is to get your cheese grated all over the top and just spread it all over. You can put as much cheese as you want. I just like to keep it so it's nice, fairly even over the top. And you see this quite an easy little job this is. Right, now we sprinkle it with Parmesan cheese. Just gives that little bit of a kick. Now we're gonna get the other piece of pastry and we're gonna layer this over the top. Just make sure it's even on each corner. And once you've got it level, just push it down with your hand. If it's a bit damp, just sprinkle a bit of flour over the top. And all we're going to do is just roll this out a little bit. And not too thin. That's it. Now all we need to do, cut off all the edges. So it makes it nice and even all the way around. You can cook these off separately, very nice, if you like Marmite. Now you want to be about, round about an inch wide, and then just cut down and just make little strips. You can make these as thin or as thick as you like really. And there we go. 
Got a couple of little smaller ones on the end there. Now all we're going to do is twist them. Get the top and bottom and twist them in the opposite direction. Use the one hand and the other hand and just twist them in the opposite direction. And there you go. And do the same with the next one. But if you find it a bit sticking to the board, just get yourself a knife under it or something to that effect. And roll that one up. Do the same, twist in action, both hands at the opposite direction. You'll find it a bit stickier because it's Marmite. And there we go. And isn't that simple? Right, now we're going to pop them onto a tray. On this tray, I've got silicone paper. You can use baking parchment. And keep them nicely spread out. And almost keep them in really nice straight lines. It just helps it a little bit. And now once we've done this, we'll want to rest them for at least 20 minutes before baking them. Now all we're going to do is wash the tops over with egg wash. This is egg with mixed with a bit of water. Just make sure it's nice and even across it. And it doesn't matter if the Marmite's coming through onto the top, it just adds that bit of flavour. Now we've done that, just sprinkle it with cheese. And once you've got your cheese on, then sprinkle it with Parmesan, just to give that little bit of a kick on the top. We're going to bake in these in an oven at a temperature of 200 Celsius for around 20 minutes until they're golden brown. Not burnt, just golden brown. And we'll get them into the oven. I always bake mine in the middle oven. It's just better. And halfway through, if you find air cooking on one side than the other, all you have to do is turn the tray round. And there we go. They're baked. Get them out of the oven. And there we go. It's as simple as that. And though I don't like Marmite, it actually was very, very nice. I know you lot out there who love this stuff, I ate it. But in saying that, in those cheese straws, they were absolutely lush. I tried one and it was beautiful. Just remember, just because you don't like that stuff, when it's mixed with something else, cheese, it changes the flavor. Please subscribe and please share. And don't forget your recipe is below the video in the description. And also you can find it on my Facebook page at The Traditional Bakery. And we'll see you again very shortly in the Crazy Baker Kitchen. Laters! This is The Crazy Baker Channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes, reviews,
I am the crazy baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!